neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Idaho will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Miami's coaching staff, the fans, I think everybody's been waiting to see this kid play, and here he is. Well, he's a star quarterback. He seems to bring everything to the table. The crowd, I think, senses he's ready to have a big day. And when your star quarterback feels good at playing at home and he gets off to a good start, some big things can happen for this offense. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle made around the 36-yard line. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. He's at the 40. Gets it out quick, and it's going the other way. Brought down at the 38. I really like this corner's ability to read the play. He shows very good football smarts and pretty good hands, too. There's a very impressive open field tackle. He showed some excellent moves out there, more than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big gain, and this offense keeps humming along. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 27. Passes it to the middle of the field. He's tackled around the 21-yard line. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. Fires it out. He's taken down at the 11. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. First and 10. Ball on the 11. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 13. Slings it. Tackled about the three-yard line. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Takes it and he's tackled short. Idaho is looking to go up by three. He gets it up and it sails through the uprights. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Vandals are right where they want to be early in this one, part. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. 
The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. That's just a great call by the coordinator there going to the air on first down. From the 48-yard line, first down. The defense looked a little sluggish there, and they can do better than that. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a D. That brings him second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 30. He scrambled, and they got him. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. sign of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. The punt goes out of bounds to the four-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. Idaho. Holds a field goal lead. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. First and 10. Ball on their own 19. They completed it, but for a minimal gain. It's not much, but at least it's positive yards. That brings up second and eight. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down at around the 44-yard line. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 44. And they make the stop right around the 40. Really nice play by the defensive lineman. I like this guy's size and instincts. Makes it second and 14. Catches it, he's immediately tackled behind the line. They're stopped two yards behind the line. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. Idaho is up a field goal. Once and all, going deep. It's picked off. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 36. And he's 
taken down at the 50-yard line. We're through one quarter. The Vandals with a three-point lead. to the action now here in the second quarter. And down he goes at the 48-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. The offensive line has got to do a better job of making space because that was just a punishing hit. From the 48-yard line, second down. Stepping up, and he's tackled around the 43-yard line. And this may be fourth down territory if they can't get a first down here. Good open field tackle. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 35. On the throw, incomplete pass. They got lucky on that play. That receiver was wide open, but the quarterback just missed it. This is the eighth play of this drive. And a quick throw. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. The kick is up. And he nails the long field goal. Miami lines up for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Five wide. Quick throw out to the receiver. Brought down at the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. That's two, that's two. Runs outside for a nice game. That brings him second and five. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. Zips it to the tight end. He gets hit out of bounds at the 26-yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. And 
they get nice yardage on that run. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. Idaho's going to take their first time out of the half. Two minutes left in the half. Is left and is met immediately. It's the ninth play of the drive. Looks to a receiver, touchdown. Catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. And he converts the extra point. So a nine-play, 74-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He's to the 20, and down he goes at the 23-yard line. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this well. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games, and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, could be the team that wins it. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He's wrapped up for the sack. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. It seems like they almost saved their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. Idaho is out of timeout. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Idaho is up a score. He flings it left. Couldn't haul it in. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 28. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dive packing. Quick out to his receiver. He's pushed out of bounds at the 47. That makes it first and 10. Got it on the quick throw. Knocked out of bounds at about the 49. From the 49-yard line, second down. And he just gets rid of it. That looked like the same play they just called. Yeah, it was. The defense was ready for it this time. Throws 
to the tight end, and that ball's incomplete. The ball just sailed on him, and he knows it. He'll get it next time. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 39. Idaho is up by a touchdown. Going for it all to the end zone. This one will fall incomplete. Almost a big play. He patrols the deep part of the field like a center fielder. No, he didn't make the catch like one. And this play is number eight on the drive. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. First and 10, ball on the 21-yard line. Throws incomplete. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guy's hands. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Pass to the end zone. The defender had it and then dropped it. Number 19 was the intended receiver. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. Mike 56, Mike 56. Motion, motion. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. He gets it up, and he got it. We've reached halftime, and there's an upset on the horizon. 13-3, Vandal. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Tremendous energy and execution in the first half. As a result, you get yourself a two-score lead, but you still know you don't match up with this team in a talent standpoint from an experience standpoint. So how do you guard against going into protect mode and make sure that you stay on the attack? Well, if you go into protect mode and get out of what you do best, then, then you can obviously, you can get this lead back right away. I mean, just two possessions just like that. But uh, it's important that you do what you did to get you there. But it's also important to realize that this team is good and they're going to make runs. They, they might come back and tie it up. But you built a two-score cushion. You've got, you've got some slack. You've got some mulligans in your bag that you can use. So... I think it's important to do what you've been doing and realize right now you're in a perfect situation. Just go out there, have fun, continue to execute, and try to continue to play that underdog role. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. And he carries the ball for a nice game. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They run it left. He's taken down around the 34-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll make it 31. Brought 
brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's good for a gain of five yards. That makes it first and ten. From their own 39-yard line. First down. And I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. That makes it second and ten. They come out in a five-wide set. Strike to his receiver, no good. They'll line it up again on third down. Passes and it's almost picked off. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. And he's taken down at the 19-yard line. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the field. They'll bring him down at the 21-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. He's hit and taken down. time he guns it tipped away this quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free from their own 33 yard line second down he's on the run dives forward Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really liked the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. Down. Give credit to the big boys up front. They did an excellent job of allowing the back to get nice yardage there. From their own 45-yard line, first down. Handoff, and he's met in the backfield. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. the eighth play of the series. Tackle at the 38. Brad, you can really feel and sense the energy coming from the sidelines right now. They know how important it is to pick up first downs. And the coaches right now are showing the excitement they have and yelling out the next play for the offense. But Clearly, the offensive coordinator very happy about the execution on that last play. There's a strike complete. And they push him out around the 27-yard line. I'm really liking what I see from this guy. He's not afraid to go to the air on any down. From the 27-yard line, it's first down. And down he goes at the 28. Lost 
This is the 11th play of this drive. on that one. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. This is the 12th play of this drive. Fires out to his wideout, and he's taken down at about the 23-yard line. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Idaho up seven points. Completes it across the middle. Brought down around the 49-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball in the 49. Out of bounds, the 39-yard line. That's three down and one to go. Idaho's lead is a touchdown. Just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. From the 39 yard line, second down. Stopped in his tracks. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. Idaho is up seven. The kick is up, and he just drilled it from long range. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 24. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offense coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. He fights forward to about the 26. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Ready. 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 Get 
gets it out quickly. Tackle made at the 27. That's a game of one on the play. That makes it third and seven. Seven yard line. They'll bring him down at the forty three yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He fights forward to about the 46. That's good for three yards. That'll make it From their own 46-yard line. Second down. Just under three to go in regulation. They'll knock him down for a loss. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Up the middle for a nice game. Miami's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From the 38-yard line, it's second down. Nice run there. The Hurricanes, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Throws complete, and he's hit hard behind the line. Drop back a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Just under two to go in the game. Fielded at the two. What a collision! The Vandals have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. the tight end to the 20 to the 10 breaks one and scores and he 
tacks on the extra point. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game, and poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? Under a minute left. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. Two times, two times. It's second and 12. Ball on the 43. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He takes a knee. Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.